The mouth gets clamped shut, the body goes still. Usually that's time to watch out. New at 11 tonight, the signs of danger. Tonight, we're showing you how to protect yourself after a brutal dog attack in New Haven. A 78-year-old woman is still recovering from bites to her head, her neck, and her face. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Ann Craig. I'm Darren Kramer. That attack happened while a woman was getting familiar with her new tenant's dog. Uh, this is a picture taken by somebody at that scene yesterday. Tonight we spoke with an expert about what to do if you come face to face with an aggressive dog like that. News 8's Noelle Gardner joins us live now in News 8 Control with what she found out. Noelle? Darren and Ann experts say once you're attacked, there's little you can do other than scream for help. But there are ways you can avoid a dog attack. That's not just get away from me, that's I want to hurt you. A 78 year old woman was attacked by a pit bull yesterday when her tenant was trying to get her acquainted with a dog. The woman suffered severe injuries to her face and neck. That's, a, that's not just a bite, that's not just a defensive bite, that's a multiple bite attack and it's in an upper region of the person which makes it so much worse. Robbie Tatkin, a professional dog trainer, weighs in. He's very lucky that the dog didn't latch on and hold on. I think that's because she got the neighbors to come and help her. If the neighbors hadn't come to help her, the dog probably would have, it would have been much worse. Tatkin says an attack can easily happen with any breed. It's nothing to do with the breed of the dog, but they are just very strong. They're very strong and they're very tenacious, so if they grab, sometimes it's worse. She says there's not much you can do to stop a dog from attacking. If you can get away, get away. If you can jump into a car or over a fence or behind some kind of barrier, then you have a chance. She says don't run because you'll never outrun a dog. The first thing I look for that makes me very nervous is a stiff dog. The mouth gets clamped shut, the body goes still. Usually that's time to watch out. Oh boy. Hello, how Hello. are you? How are you? Nice. Can I pet your dog? Yes, you can. Tadkin is teaching dogs not to be aggressive. Good girl. Nice job. These dogs are in obedience class. Tadkin says a good way to tell if a dog has basic training, it will have a certificate from the AKC Canine Good Citizen Program, meaning that the dog is safe to greet people and other dogs and has some level of control a much stronger chance that the dog is going to be social and safe because anybody can say my dog is friendly. Tatkin says those screaming for help will most likely get the attention of people who can help you and most likely won't stop the attack. And she also says carrying a stick or pepper spray can help you if you come across an aggressive dog. I'm live tonight in News 8 Control. Noel Gardner, News 8.